Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to create this a simple latte title where the text is being revealed behind the box. So let's see how we can do that. First, we need to create the clips, which is the solid color clip and the text uh, clips. Then we can apply the uh, effects to it. And finally, we animate all the clips. So let's get started. Here in the project bin, right click and add a color clip. If you want to change the color from here, do that. If not, just click OK to have the default color. And then uh, let's create the text clip. So let's right click again and add the title clip. Just type in your text here. First text that I want to type is this one. So let me update this. Let's create another text clip again. Let's change this to 150 and change the font color to a different color. And now let's just uh, place it here and then click on create. Now let's bring this down to the timeline and make sure to place this on video track 2. Now you should have three video tracks. If you don't have the third, by default it comes with video track 1 and video track 2. So you can right click and insert uh, another uh, video track again. Okay, so once you have that, um, let's bring in the first clip here, which is the our little single number there. And then the next one will be this one here which should be behind this uh, color clip here. So now let's uh, apply the effects first to the solid color clip to crop it out. So let's apply the crop by padding. Once you have that, you can always uh, crop it like that and then bring it to the size that you want. For this purpose, we will have something bigger than this, but you can always uh, make it something to the size of your text that you want to. So let's leave this one as it is now. And then let's double click here to arrange this text here. So let's double click, make sure to click on show background to show the background, whatever that you placed there. So now we have that, now let's update it. So this is how it's gonna look like now. And uh, now let's animate it. So first we want to animate this solid color clip. So let's uh, just use the transform here, apply to that. And then in the transform, the X value, let's uh, drag this and hide it behind here. So that's the first thing we need to do. And then we apply to this little uh, number three here. So let's apply the transform. Now for this one, if you want to uh, get the text fly in from here, it's up to you. I want to uh, from the top down here. So uh, from the Y value, I want to go the negative way to hide this little clip up there. For this one, uh, we're not going to do anything for now. Let's leave it first. Let's first animate this too. So let's bring the playhead somewhere here and then select the solid color clip, add a keyframe, and then bring back the little solid color clip to reveal it on the screen. So we have something like that now. Now from here, let's move up two or three frame and then select the other text here and since we already have the transform there let's add a keyframe and then from the y since we have moved the negative now let's go the positive to bring back our little text back here so this is what's going to look like now so now it's time for animation of this text so to do that let's select the last clip which animated one which is this one here now let's move uh, up to three or four frame. Let's select the text clip. And this time we're going to add a transform face. You must add a transform face and then add a crop by padding. So from here, let's in the crop, let's crop all the way to the straight where the beginning of this little solid uh, clip here. So from the X value, just crop right that until you come and place it there so once we have that now let's uh, select the transform and from the x value just drag in and the text will be cut out from here as you can see now all the text is being cut out with this other crop by padding okay so we have that and now it's time to get the text to be revealed so select the Press text there to see that and then let's move the playhead somewhere here in the transform there, add a keyframe, move again two or three frame 
add another keyframe. The purpose of this to adding two keyframe is because if we don't do that, once this is animated, everything will show that the text is not being hidden here, but it will show somewhere here. That is why uh, we have to add a double keyframe here. And once we have that in the transform, now we can reveal the text out again. Okay, so let's see the intro of this uh, animation here. Now let's place the uh, playhead somewhere here to do the outro. So first we want to hide this text. So using the crop by padding is only one, but for transform, we're going to add another keyframe here and then move the playhead at another keyframe and from the X again we want to bring in the text to be cropped out like that. Now selecting the other text clip here in the transform, add a keyframe, do the same, move it up like that, add another keyframe and then in the Y if you want to go back up like that or you can go down this way it's up to you. So let's go down here and then final one the solid color clip. So again, let's move up another two or three frame, add a keyframe, move it somewhere there, add another keyframe, and from the X, let's uh, hide the little box again. So here is the final animation. Okay, so again, you can see that it's not steady, so always uh, select the keyframe and change all of these uh, keyframe interpolation to linear. Okay, so that gives you an idea. You can do different kinds of animation using this idea. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do that. It will be a big help for us to continue producing videos like this on Caden Life. Thank you again. See you back again in another video.